business. Act SMEs are definitely a very important element in any given economy. The challenges that they face must definitely be surmounted as a matter of fact, solutions and initiatives must be brought to bear so that they are successful because they seem to be one of the largest employers of labor. Welcome. This is Business Matters and my name is Stephen Ipalabo Lawson. Businesses today are facing challenges, especially with the onset of the COVID-19 period. As a matter of fact, it's still very much with us. How businesses respond to the impact will definitely decide whether they will be successful or they will be failing in their different offerings. Let's have a business update. Hey beautiful, your eyes, your smile are all begging me to take you home tonight. Now reading page three. <laughs> Experience unlimited super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel, live more. As is our culture on business matter, we oftentimes invite a very distinguished individual to help us do justice to the topic of the day. And joining me today is no other person than a very dynamic and resourceful change leader. He is the Chief Executive Officer of um, Goshen Multi Nigerian Limited, as well as Managing Director of um, Sera Properties and Infrastructure Limited. He sits on the board of several other organizations and was a board member of the Lagos State Consumer Protection Agency and certainly the immediate past chairman of the Nigerian Association of Small-Scale Industrialists, NASI. He's obviously also a man who has dynamic experiences and expertise in change management and leadership, as well as MSME's development and sustainability and marketing and definitely strategic planning. He's a business mentor and coach, as well as a public speaker. And joining me in the studio today is no other person than Mr. Kuti George, as a matter of fact. And we're going to be looking at small scale industries in Nigeria 2022 in focus. You're welcome, sir, Mr. George. Thank you very much, Stephen Lawson. And it's, it's, it's wonderful because I, I know that earlier on, uh, when we met, it was so much more uh, an opportunity to, as a matter of fact, have you on, on, the, on the set today to explore some of these major concerns especially as it deals with a lot of businesses in Nigeria. Now, the first question I would ask, how important is the access to finance to small-scale industrialists? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Lawson. Before I talk about even the, the, the issue of finance, it's very important you know, for us to, uh, first of all, capture what, you know, all the, uh, some of the challenges, the critical ones. And a friend of mine described that as misfit. You know, M, you know, standing for market, I for infrastructure, uh, S, you know, for support services, uh, F for finance or funding. Uh, the, the, uh, the other, you know, uh, the T, you know, for technology. That's a mixed fit. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, so we, we see that, you know, 
the, most of the challenges that are facing MSMEs, you know, in Nigeria, you know, today is encapsulated, you know, in that uh, simple um, what acronym. acronym. Um, now let's single out, you know, funding out of it. The the funding is very critical, you know, to uh, businesses, whether small, you know, or big. Um, Although many people will argue that it is not the most important challenge, you know, they are facing, and yes, I'll agree with that, you know, also, but it's very, very critical because if you don't have funding, you cannot really, you know, do, uh, you can't drive business. Um, talking about access to funding, you know, in Nigeria, it is too, you know, lopsided. Um, MSMEs in Nigeria, you know, ha their access to fund is less than 10%. You know the remaining nine over ninety percent. You know goes to you know other businesses. That's because you know uh, funders believe that they are high risk. You know that um, um, they they do not have the capacity you know to manage their businesses to the extent that they will be able to return you know uh, their their customers you know funds. So funds are concentrated on uh, those businesses that have already you know made it the the big businesses, and it will astonish you. To, 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 to know that, you know, um, close to 60%, you know, of bank lendings are in the hands of less than 100, you know, businesses in Nigeria. And we have, uh, that is shocking. we have about 35 million businesses running in Nigeria. So, so, so such is the, you know, lopsided. The, the MSMEs are, you know, locked out, you know, of access, you know, to funding, particularly from, you know, banks. Another reason why banks uh, especially don't, want to give funding, you know, to small businesses is the fact that, um, the, in fact, it is now the MSMEs that are reluctant to take bank uh, loans because the, 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 the cost of funding is high. Very the high. interest rates, you know, is high. And the impact so of inflation, you, as a matter of fact, is also you have, high. You cannot really do uh, business with that without you know, running into default, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, nevertheless, various governments have tried, you know, to come up with some developmental, you know, uh, finance uh, yeah, finance initiatives. Uh, Lagos State government, for example, came up with the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, LSETF, uh, that gave loans, you know, to um, MSMEs at a very reduced uh, um, interest rate. Five percent, okay. you know, interest rate. I mean, that's the lowest in Africa. But how do you assess such a loan? Because, I mean, a lot of times people feel the bottlenecks are actually very, very high, and it, then it's a man no man affair. It's, it's, actually, it's actually accessible, all right? It's actually accessible. You just, you apply, you know, for it online. But, uh, and that is, is not there. The fact that it's online uh, tend to um, shut out, you know, quite a number of, uh, MSM is also particularly those at the micro level because of uh, level of education, you know, in, I mean, level of lit literacy. How many, a lot of people do business, particularly in the agri sector, uh, are women, you know, and uh, people in the rural areas who may not have access, you know, to getting, uh, I mean, access to internet, uh, access to the kind of knowledge they that's need to fact. apply, that's you know, fact. online and so on and so forth. But LSCT has also designed something for them now, which they are trying to. So it's it's quite accessible. It's quite accessible, and um, uh, the the one challenge that you know uh, that came up was the issue of uh, repayment. All right, by those who have collected. But I think they are, they are handling that so so very well. I think they are handling that so very well. Uh, another example is, you know, the recent intervention, you know, by uh, the, the central bank uh, through the Axmis loan, a Greek uh, small and medium enterprise investment uh, uh, scheme loan, uh, which they are challenging through Nerosa Microfinance Bank. It's a 9% loan. Mm -hmm. it's, it started as a 10 million naira. Uh, Nine percent repayable over five years, uh, and what is required is uh, you know a training, because they believe that people are, who I mean have to have capacity to know what to do with the fund when they get it. Uh, that took off you know very well, uh, 
but it's again, it has again run into murky waters, you know, as far as I'm concerned, because uh, for, for, for a number of reasons. One of such reasons is people not, you know, uh, living up to their responsibilities, which is the issue of, you know, repayment, repayment of the loan. Know, and so on, then paucity of, you know, fund also uh, with, I mean, the fund itself, or, I mean, um, the fund I, I learned has reduced so greatly and uh, there wasn't much fund to give out again. It was reduced to three million and it has really slowed down. Uh, well, nevertheless, there are other channels like the Bank of Industry, the Bank of Agri, uh, the DBN, Development Bank of Nigeria, and uh, uh, I think uh, Smidan is also trying to come up with uh, an MSME bank now, which I think is, in, is nearing the final you know, uh, stages. Um, well, these efforts are there, they are good, but they are far from being you know, sufficient. Okay. MSMEs need funding, and which they are not getting. Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, one of the things that is so much passionate in our hearts has to do with access to finance. And we know so much of this, the opportunities out there, which a lot of people are not even aware of. But taking it to the next question that I have for you, um, how ready are we in terms of market with regards to APTA? Because APTA brings a whole lot of these opportunities. How ready are we in Nigeria with regards to that? It's a very interesting question, uh, Lawson. Um, after it's a good uh, initiative, you know, by itself. Because if you look at, you know, the, the world, uh, all around the world, you see regional corporations, you know, trade corporations, uh, uh, flourishing and helping, you know, the the economy of countries. And Africa cannot be, you know, an exception. Uh, the the most important question, therefore, is how ready, you know. Uh, uh, was Nigeria. How ready is Nigeria now? Uh, it was lack of readiness, you know, that delayed uh, Nigeria appending her signature, you know, to, to after. I think that was done about a year or so, you know, ago. Um, um, we, as a, as a country, we, we weren't, you know, that prepared. Market is very critical because that's the focus of your question. Market, of course, is very critical to any business uh, because whatever you do, you're not doing it for yourself. True. And there is nothing as bad as a good product that is not known in the market. Um, Nigeria has a population of 200 million. That's, our, that's, our, that's, our, that's our estimation. The sub region of uh, West Africa has between 350 and 370, which means Nigeria is about half of that. We have the population. What that tells you is that Nigeria is a market which other countries are looking at to invade. Okay? <laughs> it, it, it therefore puts a double burden on us. One, the fact that we have to, we have products to sell and we need to sell. And this, the second one that we have to do more, we have to be able to sell more, you know, than the others. Otherwise, we will have ourselves, we will have, we won't have balance of trade because we will be bombarded, you know, by goods from other other nations. But Nigeria, Nigerian businesses are hampered, you know, by many reasons, many challenges, you know, uh, that that we know. But if we look at, you know, the MSME space, we have business men and women there who are serious minded and who are ready you know to stop the market our products are ready um, our packagings you know have been greatly you know improved, improved upon, upon. Uh, but we have to look at you know our cost of production you know is high which also means you know that the, the prices of our goods may not be as competitive as uh, those nations who have infrastructure infrastructures uh, that helps their cost of you know production you know to be to be lower. We also have to think about uh, you know the role of our government agencies. Uh, we have too many regulatory agencies in this country that are, as far as I'm concerned, some of them are working at cross purposes. And what they're doing, I believe, can be warehoused. What some of them are doing can be warehoused in one single agency. Uh, you have uh, Standard Organization of Nigeria, you have NAFDAQ, uh, you have, 
you know, other regulatory, I mean, environmental agencies and, and so on that can come under one. So by the time you go for this, you go for that, it adds to the cost of, of your production. And in a lot of cases, you don't even get approval. Okay. Whereas other nations, you know, we give approval for similar products and you find them here. You find fake products in the market, don't, don't yeah, you find? We do. We do. Somebody gave approval for that, even in China, for example. You know, somebody gave approval for that and the same product was exported and passed through our, our borders, passed through customs and so on. So, and I tell you, we don't make fake products in Nigeria. Our packaging can, you know, be a little uh, lower, okay. you know, in, yes. in terms of standard, though we are working on that. But you're not going to find fake products in right. there. Okay, and we're going to go on a short break, so as soon as we're back, we're going to continue this conversation. Viewers, please stay tuned. Business Matters continues after this short break. Experience unlimited super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel, live more. Thank you. If you've just joined us, this is Business Matters, and I'm discussing with Mr. Shego Kuti George, uh, the media past uh, chairperson of NASI, and we're looking at the topic small scale industries in Nigeria 2022 in focus. And before we went on the break, we've looked at some of the challenges that has to do with access to finance as well as the market, which after as Malafad is bringing to our doorsteps. Um, it definitely puts it in the simple word, mixed fit, uh, obviously encapsulate all of those challenges. And this is part of what this conversation has been ongoing. Uh, Mr. Kudu George, uh, one of the things that we, we oftentimes wonder, and you've mentioned earlier on when we talked about how businesses sustain, small scale businesses sustain, um, you, you had mentioned that finance is critical, but it's not the most important. Uh, so one we wonder, um, mentoring and business continuity, uh, what is the connection? I mean, we'll look at that aspect when you had mentioned earlier on that finance is not necessarily the most important aspect of business. So we're wondering what the connection is with uh, mentoring and business continuity. Oh, well, certainly, you know, uh, there is a, a business cannot grow beyond the capacity of, uh, of uh, you know, the owner, okay? Uh, what that, uh, another way of putting that is, uh, is that the progress of a business is a factor of, you know, the capacity of, uh, you know, the owner. Capacity has to do with, with knowledge, okay? A lot of people go into businesses uh, not because they actually understand the business, but because of profit motive. Oh, so somebody who are in the business has, doing that, uh, they see that the other person is somebody making has done it or somebody is doing <laughs> it, and I should be able. It's making money. I want to do it. I want to make my own money too. And when they now get in, in there and they, they see the challenges, you know, they are unable, you know, to to tackle them. Um, therefore, there is need for knowledge. And knowledge, one way by which knowledge comes is through training and is through men mentoring, hand-holding. A mentor is one who has the experience and who is ready, you know, to, to share the experience with an upcoming person, you know, by holding the hand and taking you through the road that he has passed before. You don't have to reinvent the wheel in a number of places. So you have it, you know, if, if he achieves something in five years, because you have a mentor, you are, you are likely to achieve it in two years. Uh, that and so many other reasons are, 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 you know, the reasons why, you know, mentoring is very, very, you know, important. And that uh, is something that we, is available, you know, in the Nigerian Association of Small Scale Industrialists. We have people who have been through it and uh, under whom, under whose tutelage, those who are just coming in, you know, can grow. All right. Um, 2022 in focus right now, sir. And what advice will you give to the government as a matter of fact that they should take heed to as regards to uh, small scale industries and uh, operations in Nigeria today? Number one, special attention should be paid to infrastructural development. Our infrastructural deficit is too high. We, I mean, we need good roads, all right? We, or let me just put it together transportation, very, very important. 
we need to invest massively, you know, in technology. It is it is very very important. These are, these are these are things, you know, that drives up costs of production, which makes our products not competitive, you know, with others. For example, if if a particular item is coming in from uh, China, and the the landing cost is so high and, and it's going to be sold, you know, for ten naira, and I can produce the same thing here and sell at even eight naira, it's likely that people will buy mine. True. But you discover that the price of my own good is higher than even the one coming from China. And consumers, you know, want price the best possible at, at the lowest uh, possible uh, price, uh, price, price. And what is responsible for that? It is infrastructure. I mean, if power is working, you know, if there is, if there is good transportation, uh, some of these costs, you know, will come down. I mean, a typical business in Nigeria is its own local government. I mean, his own security, his own water, his own electricity, his own transportation, and you're still going on the road and you are stopped, you know, for one uh, ticket. Or the, you know, like we see another. a lot of this logistics uh, um, uh, uh, bikes that oftentimes you, whether local government uh, agents are stopping them, demanding from one ticket or the other. How, how does so, that? How does so, that I mean, we, we, have, we have delivery van, you know, for our, for our goods. Okay, Renew a, a, renewing a delivery van, particulars, you know, annually, uh, is 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 about a hundred thousand naira, you know, oh yeah, because you're going to take various local government papers that in themselves cost about fifty thousand naira, you know, and then uh, other other um, particulars, you know, like your vehicle, your whatever, and your whatever. That's to every local government you go to. There is something they talk about radio. They talk about these things that you can't even fathom. They can even ask you for for a borehole uh, uh, license. Uh, license in a car. I mean, it's, it's, the oh way we are looking God. for money, you know, as the government is looking for money, is so so we have to relax some of these things. The federal government has done one or two things in the area of VAT, you know, exempting those whose turnover are below twenty five million, and. Uh, um, uh, a, a few exemptions here and there, that's quite, you know, commendable, commendable. all right? Um, we have to, the government has to put their money where their mouth is. Where their mouth is. <laughs> if, if MSMEs are contributing more than 60% of employment and generating, you know, close to 70% of our GDP, is, it, is that not where we should, you know, be directing all our but energies? Common, common sense should, should inform all, everybody all our that. Efforts, that is we, where it should go. When we grow MSMEs, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are reducing unemployment, we are increasing you know, our GDP, we are, we are reducing crime, we are increasing you know, our potential to export and earn foreign exchange, which in turn will, will drive up the value of our Naira. So many other advantages are, are, are related you know, to it. So I advise the government, please focus more on okay. MSME, right. manufacturing and agri. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, this is so much we can take on this um, uh, particular edition of the program. We hope perhaps in the future we'll have another opportunity to engage you, sir. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. S I N. <laughs> that is Mr. Sheyi. Shegun. Shegun. Uh, All right, sir. God pleasure. Bless you. All right, viewers, so much, so good. Uh, this is so much we can take on this particular edition, and that has been amazing. The government themselves must understand that. Uh, the MSMEs are very important. I hope they are listening and they will certainly take heed to this advice. Let's go on a short break. As soon as we're back, Business Matters continues.
Viewers, there's so much we can bring to you on this week's edition of the program. Just like we've seen, the MSME in uh, sector is a very important sector. As a matter of fact, their challenges are encapsulated in the acronym MixFit, which stands for Market, Infrastructure, Support Services, Finance, Information and Technology. The government needs to be able to address a lot of these challenges and certainly we'll all be better for it. Until I come your way again next time, this is Business Matter. My name remains Stephen. Bye-bye for now.